KMT lawmakers have panned the offers made by the tourism and highways heads to step down over last week's deadly bus crash as simply a way of shifting blame from Transportation Minister Hurton Dan. Hurton is coming under increasing KMT pressure to step down over the spate of traffic incidents during his tenure. KMT lawmakers opened fire on Transportation Minister He Chan Dan, calling on him to take responsibility for last week's tour bus crash that claimed 33 lives. They also slammed Chen Yenbo and Zhou Yonghui, the respective heads of the Directorate General of Highways and the Tourism Bureau, saying that their request to resign only six months into their terms was simply a way of taking the fall for their superior. These two recently sworn in department heads haven't even settled into their posts, nor did their previous jobs have anything to do with this incident. Despite that, they were the ones who were asked to resign, while the one who's been in the job for much longer, the one who ought to be held accountable, hasn't been asked to step down. That's very strange. It's ridiculous. We saw that Minister He Chen Dan was quick to come out and say that the incident was caused by the bus driver, that it was a driver-related problem. When he failed to stem the public uproar, he had no choice but to ask his two subordinates, these two civil servants, to shoulder the government's responsibility. Pan Blue legislators called on the Thai administration to stop shielding the transportation minister from blame. In the face of such a serious incident, we need to look at this solemnly and in earnest. The one with responsibility should be the one to step down. Pan Green legislators called for punishments to be handed out only after the cabinet had concluded its investigation into the crash.